What's up, everybody? And this is Danny. Today, I'm going to be looking at iOS 7, the newly released operating system by Apple. And this time, I'm going to demonstrate it on the iPod Touch 5th generation. For most people, have been demonstrating it on the iPhone 5, but it also is available for the iPod Touch. So is this the big redesign that everybody was looking for? And how good is it? Let's take a look. This is the Beta 1 that we're going to be looking at. And right away, you can see that the lock screen is different, similar, but it's different looking and the fonts and you can see the animations also different. So that's one of the biggest things you're going to notice is the visuals. And if you tilt this device back and forth, it's using this parallax technology that is allowing you to have this 3D effect on the icons and background. So very subtle, but very cool as well. Looks very nice. And the notification shade is a little bit different now where it's tab from today all in mist and you can also see that cool blurring effect that's happening in the background a lot of these things are definitely borrowed from the jailbreak tweaks of before but this is nice that you get this on a stock build and it looks pretty cool so finally now you can swipe up from the bottom and get access to your short toggles and all the stuff that you essentially need like your brightness control and your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, your music playback and now they've added stuff like AirDrop and AirPlay right to the menu and this is called Control Center and this is definitely needed so badly on iOS for you had to dig into the menus before and now you can also launch quick apps down there like the calculator which is redesigned but it's not customizable yet so hopefully they'll come out with that in beta 2 or farther now launching the weather app you will see it's a little bit different as well it's got a little bit of a visual kick up and if you swipe through your different cities you will notice that you will get weather animations very HTC like on their sense platform but now when it's raining or thundering or sunshine you'll get different animations so once again mostly a visual change and here's the camera as well that gets a new interface and you just pretty much swipe back and forth you can get this new square mode now and you can just swipe to video or photo and you get also some cool things like zooming during video when you have a rear facing camera and now these live filters too so just little things that are added there and if you have an iPhone 5 or a rear camera you can zoom while you take video so Game Center gets a visual change as well and so does stocks so I think mostly here in iOS 7, we're getting this visual refresh, a little bit cleaner look, a little bit more modern, and some people like it or they don't like it. Some people think it's a little bit too feminine for the platform, but I think it's a welcome change and it's visually pleasing. On mail, you get this swipe gesture now that you can swipe to the left, and this is nothing new for Android or for some of their older or other iOS apps but you get that in mail now and the calendar is also redesigned which I like it it looks more simplistic and it works really well I feel like their core apps have gone through a simplification and I just like the way it looks and in Safari you get this new tab browsing now you've always had tab browsing but it's very similar to Chrome if you look at this and what I like about it the most is when you're scrolling then it goes to full screen which is very nice and now when you need it you can see that these other toggles come out from the bottom and this is very Chrome like right here if you've used Chrome for iOS or Chrome for Android where you can just swipe in between and you can just jump to your different tabs and the store looks pretty much the same you can see this unified white look on the background for it was different in iOS 6 and the same thing with iTunes as well just some visual changes no real improvements in functionality and folders now finally get a good spec bump as well where you can add as much as you want to the folder and that's nice and you just kind of swipe in between them both and finally you can take newsstand and put it into a folder I know that's something so minor but it was just annoying in iOS 6 how you couldn't do that so big thumbs up for that so one thing you'll notice is that universal search is no longer to the left when you swipe but if you just swipe any part of the middle of the screen and swipe down that's where universal search is now and you can see that the keyboard is different to whatever background you're on like there you saw that it was a darker themed and now if you go into the browser it's a white theme so no real difference there in the keyboard at all still the good iOS keyboard that you've had before just a little bit of a visual change and this does exactly the same your short toggles do the same thing it just depends on where you're at and what the background is 
it will take to that background effect. So nice visual, little things, minor things, but it definitely makes iOS feel a little bit different. And I like that for it was stale for a long time and now the visual changes definitely help the interface. Another inclusion in iOS 7 is iTunes Radio, which is like their Pandora or Spotify uh, competitor. And you just add radio and you just add whatever artists that you like here. Like I have DJ Premier here and then I also have Daft Punk. So you can just add those on. And when you hit them, it will bring you to the songs that are very similar to that. So I need to test this out a little farther and see how this compares to Pandora or to Google Music All Access. And I guess if you have iTunes Match, then it will be ad-free. But there is a limitation. Once you go past 10 songs, it will you won't be able to skip anymore. And it's so very, very similar to Pandora. And we'll see how this plays out and see if they add any more new features to this iTunes Radio in the further betas. But having Control Center right there, you can have quick access to that radio right there without going into it. So this is definitely keeping up with modern OSs that are out there now. So it definitely makes every day just a little bit easier on iOS 7 compared to iOS 6. So very welcome there. Photos get also a little bit of a change where it gets organized now in moments. So if you have a whole bunch of pictures, that'll be nice with geotagging. You won't have to sit there and dig through all your photos. Multitasking is the same. Double tap on the home button, but now it gets a little bit of a visual flair. Very Palm webos -y, which I like. I really like this. And you can just flick up with one finger to get rid of them. Or it takes multiple inputs. Two fingers or even three fingers. You can just swipe as many as you want to. And you can just go in between them. So no real functionality change there. But the visual flair is definitely welcome. And Siri, up, Siri also gets a new look with how it used to look like on voice control before with the waveform, very nice. And even when you turn up the volume, you can see that that also has visual changes as well. And the visual changes are all around. How so it also LeBron gets James? a few new functionality features. So before you can always ask how tall is LeBron James and it will tell you and it has a little bit different look, but it also gains a few new features. So check these out. Make the screen dimmer. Okay, I made the screen darker. Turn on Bluetooth. Okay, I turned on Bluetooth. Make my screen brighter. Okay, this is as bright as it gets. So there it is. That's most of the features in iOS 7. There will be a lot more and there's probably some that I skipped, but those are the major things. Mostly visual flair, but I like it. There's a lot of stuff borrowed from Android here, but this is good for iOS for it validates how good Android is and how much influence they have even on Apple for they were dismissing Android for a very long time. So let's see how the betas progress. So stay tuned to my channel for I will definitely review those in the further betas. And I will see you in the next video.